uh, for the field of uh, ai and nlp like it, it is a very dynamic field so you need to be uh, on your edge at all uh, all points of time and you need to be uh, aware of whatever is going on in hello guys Welcome to the second podcast in a series of off campus internships. So today we have with us is Mr. Chinmay Singh. He is a final year undergraduate at IIT Kharagpur and he received a full time opportunity with McKinsey and Company and in pre placement offer from Apple. In this podcast he'll be sharing how he bagged an off campus internship with Apple California office. So hello Chinmay, welcome. Hi everyone. Uh, thank you for having me. So besides what Jalaj already introduced me with I would like to say that I am a final year in the department of chemical engineering I have been interested in data analytics machine learning and in specific NLP since the start of my sophomore year at IIT Kharagpur and I have got support from the various faculties as well as my seniors seniors at IIT Kharagpur and I have been able to pursue my interest besides Apple I have also pursued internships with IBM and CERN and as well as a, a research tenure at iit bombay as a student researcher and uh, besides all of this i'm also really interested in business and entrepreneurship and my other engagement in campus includes at business club as the analytics head so yeah that's pretty much about me i come from delhi okay so yeah so let's move to the basic question like how did you manage uh, chemical engineering and your interest in ai so uh how did you pursue both of them so at iit kharagpur chemical engineering is usually considered a branch which gives you freedom to explore other options i found this very true uh, in my sophomore year uh, although the curriculum of chemical engineering does not overlap much with artificial intelligence or anything that uh, is of my interest uh, professionally but uh, i was able because of the flexible curriculum of the university and uh, the additionals and elective courses i was able to take most of the courses of my interest besides that the amount of knowledge present today online and on different sources like coursera medium etc is truly magnificent and uh, i think it's uh, sufficient if you need to follow your interest in any sort so yeah i used uh, a lot of them to help me follow my interest besides all of these obviously the seniors and my peers uh, in at college they helped me a lot way in uh, helping me secure the resources in guiding me towards what uh, what to do at any given point of time and keeping me motivated so yeah that that is how i did okay so the main question of the whole podcast is like how did you get an off campus opportunity with apple uh, what was the process all about and uh, how how many interviews are there and how did you even approach apple uh, cupid in office so what was uh, the whole procedure so uh, apple does not come for internships at iit kharagpur and uh, as such the number of profiles in nlp that comes at kharagpur is very limited uh, there is barely any profile for nlp internships that comes except a few companies mm-hmm. of course uh, so uh, how i discovered this internship opportunity is that uh, i co-authored a paper with one of my seniors uh, and this paper was published in hong kong at a conference called em nlp and uh, when i visited uh, this conferences now conferences are a place where a lot of company uh, companies come to hire because people who are really interested in that field come to the conference of a specific area so this uh, speci- uh, this conference emnlp uh, which is a well known conference in natural language processing uh, i went there and uh, uh, at at these research conferences uh, all of the major companies who pursue research in the area of your conference they have their career booths uh, at these conferences you, so you can just go and interact get to know more about what kind of work they do and uh, at that place there was an option to apply for internships so i was in conversation with some of the staff and they recommended me for the internship and uh, then the whole process of uh, the formal process of being selected and screening process uh, began so this okay. this yeah so this conference uh, was held in november and it took about a month for them to revert back uh, after reviewing the cv and everything which i had to submit through the conference uh, on reverting back they asked me for uh, the time slots for the interview and i was informed that there are two sets of interview that i have to give uh, the first one is on natural language processing and deep learning research and things specific to the kind of work that i was going to do 
and the second had to be a coding round yeah so that was a process okay yeah. so this was all about the process so we start karte interview round se kya matlab interview round mein kya kya hua tha kaise questions aaye the and how did you answer them so start with the first round first so what was the experience in there and kis tarah ke questions the uske andar yeah so the thing about apple is that uh, they try to give you an interviewer who uh knows about what kind of experiences you have and uh, who resonates with the type of uh, ex- uh, type of work that you have done and are going to do so i got a interviewer who was from uh, iit kanpur and who uh, is currently working at apple uh, cupertino office uh, so uh, the first interview was mostly based on natural language processing and deep learning in general i was asked about the fundamentals of deep learning several questions on topics such as regularization and uh, bias variance and uh, things like that uh, and uh, optimizers and other such concepts and the second okay. thing uh, they they were majorly focusing on was my paper so the paper that i had written at uh, and published at am nlp they wanted to ask they, they wanted to go inside why i did any specific thing that i uh, followed in my paper so having a paper is a really good point if you want to apply for any research positions and internships as well so they were really interested in that and they uh, it it's basically give gives them some context that you are interested in research and you have tried to pursue research on your own or through whatever resources you have have at hand so they want uh, they asked about every single aspect of my paper why i did this how i did this like and uh, for nlp they asked about several uh, concepts which were popular the research, recent concepts which were uh, popular like bird transformers etc they asked me a few questions about their architectures etc i'll be attaching several links to resources similar to that uh, to this video so that you can follow that up yeah okay so this was all about your first term so in this no coding questions for there are no nothing like that also all about your paper and the resume so moving to the second round so how was it different from the first round and what questions were asked in the second round so the second round was conducted by a different interviewer both rounds were about 45 minutes long and in the second round uh, i was given a programming assignment which was a live programming assignment and you there was a platform which they uh, use uh, and uh, you have to write the code uh, and then execute it as well so it's not uh, just pseudo code so the problems that i uh, the, that was posed to me were relevant to nlp itself so there were some uh, questions with strings uh and uh, um, term frequency counting etc so those were the major uh, concepts like uh, it was not like uh, the typical kind of questions that you encounter in a software engineering kind of role so my questions were okay. a bit different and the language of choice was python like uh, i i did not get to choose it like it was assigned because most of the development in deep learning uh, takes place in python so they expect you to mm. know that but overall what i found is that the kind of interview and the questions that are posed to you is very team specific at apple so they shortlist you for a specific team uh, to uh, and then uh, the team basically dictates what kind of uh, concepts and what kind of skills you need to have to get shortlisted so the interview experience can vary a lot between different teams yeah. okay uh, in- insightful answer so uh, were there any hr questions in this round and if they were so what kind of questions did they ask in the hr round uh, there were not a lot of questions i just uh, was asked a couple of questions like uh, have you worked in a team environment uh, and because of covid since i had to like uh, i couldn't physically go so i needed to collaborate uh, so uh, that that was not at that point of time so they uh they expected me to be in california so they asked me several questions about culture like do you like uh, associating with different kind of people and work environment related questions nothing too much just uh, about uh, team work and things like that yeah okay thank you yeah. so this was all about your journey in uh, like how did you got into apple so since you also got into mckinsey and we have this one video with tiasha where she, she shared like how mckinsey process is so but you got into digital profile she was in a ba So, how was it into interview uh, experience different from us? And what is the difference between the digital profile that you are going into? And guys, if you haven't watched the Tiasha's video, so it's in the i button. You can click at the i button. Then you will get the video. So, Chen, my over to you. What was your experience with the McKinsey? So, uh, my uh, profile at McKinsey for which I interviewed was 
business analyst uh, associated with McKinsey Digital. So the interview uh, and the selection process is mostly the same as a BA would have. Uh, you submit your CV, then it's screened. Uh, then there is a problem solving test and uh, there is a buddy round and then the interviews. Uh, the difference in the interview process that I found from Tiasha's and the other BAs uh, was that the questions posed to me were like, uh, I, I was also asked uh, case interviews, uh, like uh, to solve case interviews, but the mm -hmm. topics of my cases were more aligned with, uh, more, uh, had some part of a digital outlook that was required to solve them. Like they could be something like uh, managing uh, the sales of an app, or how would you develop a data analytics solution for a specific problem? So the topics okay. were a bit different than a usual uh, interview uh, interview would face. And uh, besides that, okay. about the profile, uh, as I've been informed, everything about the profile remains mostly the same. The only thing is that if there is any digital engagement, then uh, the first preference would be given to a person aligned with McKinsey Digital rather than the uh, the business analyst role uh, which it comes from yeah nothing much different okay. besides that. yeah okay uh, thank you Chitra, for sharing your experience so in the parting question like what will your tips and tricks for your juniors of anyone who is starting in the field so what will be your tips and tricks for someone uh, for the field of uh, ai and nlp like it's it is a very dynamic field so you need to be uh, on your edge at all uh, all points of time and you need to be uh, aware of whatever is going on in the current industry and uh, how people are pursuing research. A good place to start could be uh, learning things of online courses or your college courses. But uh, after you have a basic understanding, I would recommend uh, anyone to go for some hands-on experience. And uh, that hands-on experience can be in development and uh, uh, if you want to go for that kind of a profile or could be in a research project with the professor or something else. Uh, and uh, after you have like a decent enough experience, uh, pursuing independent research is all, all, always a great option. Uh, and even if you have the supervision of someone, and uh, if you happen to publish a paper, that would be like really uh, great in terms of uh, companies wanting to hire you and uh, things like that. Uh, and also for your master's application, if you want to pursue further education. Yeah. Okay. And like, what what will be the like uh, importance of the referral in the field of internships and all? What's your take on this? Like, how how much referrals are important, and how much is research papers are important uh, in the job profile if you are not going for the research and the normal jobs? Uh, I think for AI and uh, machine learning, most of the jobs uh, are uh, have some part of research in it, except if you're working as a software developer uh, side of it completely. So having a research mm -hmm. paper is always good because it uh, really shows that you are capable of pursuing work in this topic and uh, like know a certain bit of uh, things about it. Uh, besides that, uh, as far as uh, companies like FANG, et cetera, are considered. Uh, so the thing is mostly the applications, if they aren't without a referral or you haven't been recommended by an employee, it, it is very difficult to get your application considered. So. Uh, mostly what I found through my peers and my colleagues uh, during internship, uh, most of which who f uh, whom were from USA or UK. So they mm -hmm. told me that uh, it, it's a norm to apply with a referral and uh, cold applications without a referral usually would not get noticed in a company of scale of Apple or uh, Facebook or uh, things like that, unless there is a hiring program, which uh, unfortunately doesn't exist for IITs. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it, man. Thanks a lot for sharing your journey. And guys, all the things that he mentioned about the questions he mentioned about and the resources he mentioned about, the links will be provided in the description. You can visit the description and see all those things. So thank you, Chinmay, for being with us uh, and sharing your experience. Thank you very much. It was really a great experience.